Well, the next part of the uh, the Old Water journey took me right down to the um, the shores of the lake, and uh, I thought this was a particularly nice view. Um, nice bit of light coming out from over the horizon. So if I try and create, I might brush in from both sides to try and create that light down the centre, sort of effect, and. Uh, Maybe make a bit more of the foreground sure. I'll see how I get on. All the usual gear. Ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. I've got the three brushes, three quarter inch flat, number three rigger and the large one ransom I've got the water jar, the tissue, 15 by 11, Fabriano watercolour paper. So looking at this picture, just before we start the painting, to me the predominant two colours I'd use would be like ultramarine and Payne's grey. That's what I'm getting from this picture. So let, let, let's see how we get on. So I'm going to start off, dig out, clean water, and just give it a good soaking all over, nice and even, so that it stretches evenly and we don't get that crinkling. Then I'm going to go into I'll just put a little bit of raw sienna in there just to put a little bit of light of area because then I'm going to go ultramarine and a bit of Payne's grey. I want to create a sort of light area down the middle so I'm just going to brush in from both sides. Then back in, reload the brush, lots of paint, and then just in there again. And you see the darker you make the sides, the lighter the air at the centre becomes. And we're always looking for contrast much contrast as you can get in. You're only doing it until the paper starts to dry because then you'll start to get hard edges. It'll look a bit, just won't create the same sort of effect anyway. So I'm going to go about a third of the way up for the horizon line and then I'm going to start putting in a distant Most distance of the hills and mountains. There's a big one going up there. Just pulling down these reflections as I go along. They're the furthest ones. Now we've got some big stuff coming in from the left. Again. You can't actually see these reflections in the photo, but I think it always looks better to put them in. Just creates that little bit more drama. And then we've got a actually that needs to be Yeah, a little bit higher that should. Um oh, I'm not gonna worry about it, so I maybe it's a Hint of green, just a little bit of lemon yellow. And then we got just a few little, few little trees there. And again, just pulling down the reflection. Go along. Now the paper stretch, so I'm just gonna give it a full size over on this right hand side and then I'm gonna refix it. So you've got a nice flat surface to work with. So that's the distant hills in. Next I'm gonna go on this right hand side we've got some uh, trees so 
keeping the same I'm going to stick to those well we've got to use four colours just the raw sienna, rapine's grey, lemon yellow and ultramarine obviously the fewer colours you use the easier it is to create harmony colour harmony so I'm just going to stick with uh, those ones and start off on this right hand side with a big tree a bit darker, a bit more water loaded brush and then this one's going to go right up Hang on, I still want that a bit darker that's better that goes up there comes down there, something like that and there's just the odd little branch sticking up switch to the rigger same colours, plenty of water on the rigger brush and we've got just ones coming out the side there like that and yeah, don't forget the other side and just little flicks more water Got some big ones coming down there and some ones a bit lower down oh, a bit darker than that again don't be afraid to go over all your nice pretty little bits Flick it right up. It might help. It helps if you hold the end, hold the end of the brush. It just helps you be a bit more looser with the uh, with the strokes. So back to the hike. And I'm going to give it a quick sweep, something like so. Maybe some on this side as well. A bit darker than that. Just a little bit of, just flick up with the with the brush and you get create those sort of grassy bits right on the edge of the water. Now we need something on that left hand side so I'm just going to start the uh, the trunk off again using the hake, nice and dark so I'm going to go right up, it's not as big as this in the photo but I just think it looks, just helps frame it a bit better back to the rigger dark colours, hold the brush at the end and just, just flick out with it no need to be too particular a few ones down here now clean the brush quick way of creating all those little leaves you see right on the edges, edges. You can spend an hour with the rigger if you want, or just clean the brush, scuff it up so you've got the airs going everywhere, and then go into your go into the colours you've just used, the ones you want to use for your little ends of the twigs and the branches and stuff like that, and then just just very light touch, reload, same on this side. few more, maybe a few on here as well again very light, very light, very light touch and quite dry, you don't want much water on this right 
can always get a bit of card as well. A few little rocks. And we'll scrape up. Back to the rigger. A couple of little birds just there, just in the bright bit. And then somewhere out of the way. Um, that's not quite dry yet, so I'm just going to just put it very small. Coffee signature. And that's just a very quick impression of a photograph. So here's the uh, finished painting. Let's have a quick look at the photo. Now it's roughly the same. Now where I have made a bit of a, a hard hash of it is this uh, bit of land on the far side. See what I did? If I show you the painting. I just didn't, I didn't, I started off too low down and I didn't give myself any space to put the rest of the uh, the layers in. Now, I, so why didn't I make it high you might say, but I think I'd have made a right hash of it to be honest with you. I think I'll, uh, I'll save that till next time. Because I'd already put that in and then I'd put the reflections in, I was limited then to so, sort of uh, the height I could go. And rather than, uh, I suppose I could have had a go at it. I decided to um, just see how it works like this for now. Obviously in the foreground we've got all these bits of stuff going on here. But I've elected to just put a few on that side and then leave the central area clear to try and emphasise this light bit. And then I've just put another one on the left hand side just to help frame it. Well, Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Keep practising. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.